Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about Quixel Mixer 2020. And Quixel Mixer is actually harder to say than you may think. And the reason why we're looking at it today is a new version was just released. Quixel Mixer 2020.1.2 was just released. And the really cool thing about Quixel is they were acquired by Epic Games. And a lot of times when another company acquires a company, it's like, uh uh-oh. But in this case, no, it's been flawless. What they've done is they've made Mixer free, they've made Bridge free, and the giant archive of textures available behind it, the Mega Scans textures, they've made those completely free if you are an Unreal Engine developer. If you're using another game engine such as Unity or Godot, you can still use all of the tools free, including Mixer that we're going to look at today. But those textures available behind the scenes, those Mega Scan textures, you still have to pay for them. But the nice thing is, since Epic Games bought Quixel, they made Mega Scans cheaper as well. So it's just been win win all around. So it's a massive major texturing program. It's very similar in end result to the um, substance uh, painter and designer packages. It just takes a very, very different workflow. But the end result is textures ready for use in your game. And the Mixer program keeps getting more and more capabilities with every single release. Now, this one didn't get a ton of new functionalities in this particular release. What instead got was a ton of new content. So what we're going to do is jump in right now, and then we'll come back over here, and we'll take a look at some of the details of the Quixel Mixer uh, result. Now, the cool thing here, though, before I continue on, check this one out. The free, join a free and open ecosystem. This is the Epic Games thing here saying, with Unreal Engine, Megascans, Bridge, and Blender all being free, uh, Mixer closes the missing link in your creative tool set, paving the way for a new breed of creative tools uh, that are centered around community and available for free, no strings attached. Now that's a little misleading because there obviously is a string attached. There is a a royalty around using Unreal Engine. Megascans is only free if used with Unreal Engine. Now Blender is just straight out free. Uh, But do be aware, there are, you know, there's there's a little bit of... um, creative use of words going on there. But it's interesting you see, they're obviously going towards this whole free ecosystem. And that would explain the Quixel purchase. It would explain the Mega Grants to uh, Blender approach. Basically, uh, they're trying to lower the barrier to making games. Uh, and obviously, they're going to win out as a result. But Mi- Quixel Mixer is definitely a key part of that strategy. So now we're on to 2020.1.2. But before we get into that, let's go take a look at Mixer itself. And you see, here is Quixel Mixer. Uh, pretty straightforward. you got a, a simple plane to work with. Uh, You can work with various different channels here. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail. I've covered Mixer in the past. So instead, I'm going to focus on what's new here. And the nicest way to show you that is to come over here. And the biggest new thing is Smart Materials. They just added another library of Smart Materials. So now you've got Smart Materials 1 and 2. I thought they were 50 apiece, but they add up to 97. So I guess it's 47 and 50. And it's a ton of pre-configured, parametrically controlled uh, materials. They're powered behind the scenes by assets from uh, the whole Megascans archive. Uh, and these are free, by the way. You can use these with Quixel Mixer and whatever tool you want, I believe. So uh, with Mixer being free, you don't have that Unreal Engine limitation on these particular materials. The other thing they did was they changed their installer so that the installer can now work independently. What you've got the ability to do now is run the Quixel Mixer installer. Even if you have Mixer installed, you can now download the packs and additions. That's another release uh, feature from here. But the biggest thing here is these two packs that are in here. And you've got a lot of them that are pretty common. I picked one by accident. So there we go. This is a, a tank metal, I believe. Let's go back here and take a look at the layers. So we go worn tank metal right here. And you can see all of the things that go together to make it. So we got the weathering going here. We can change the amount. You can change the various, there's the various different maps that go together to control it. And you've got control over all of these things as well. Uh, you got the paint here. So if we wanted to go ahead, see there's that gray paint color. I could come in here. We could grab that paint color. And we could change it. And there you see the updates that happen across the board. You can do that with pretty much all of the stuff that's here. So you can change the values of the various different things that go together. And all these tools work together. Uh, it's it's a basically pre-configured material ready to use in your environment. You've also got some really advanced texturing tools that were added with the last release that you can put it on individual color ID channels or quickly map it in. So you can start uh, applying these materials to your 3D objects in here. Speaking of 3D objects, we've also got the ability, we can go here online and you see here we've got 3D. We've got a number of different categories. This is, of course, hooking into the Mega Scans library behind the scenes. Uh, but let's say you wanted to bring in, I'm in the wall section here, so we wanted a cement wall. We can bring in all the various different pieces, say we want that cement wall for use. We can basically go ahead and we can download it like so. Uh, It's going to go ahead and download. It's going to take a little bit of time, but what I'm going to do is go back here to the viewport. I'm going to show you one I've already brought down. So we've got this weird ass color going on here. So we we can do here, go to setup, and instead of a plane, we can have it go to a shader ball like so, and we can see how it would look 
on a shader ball. And we could also start layering other materials on. So we go back here to the smart material and we can go here and grab the polished brass oxidized. And you'll see here in the layers, we now have the two going on here. I could grab this guy. We could uh, turn the visibility of that guy off. There you go. So now we're seeing just the polished brass aspect uh, like so. As you can see it in it, or of course we could have multiple materials, we could have them working together, and then we could change the opacity and the blend amount so we can kind of blend between those two materials if we wish. We can, then we can do a really advanced stuff here. So we could add like a liquid layer or a water layer. So you got a glistening and a sheen going on there. There is a ton of functionality in Mixer, but the entire idea behind Mixer is basically you are mixing things together. So I'm mixing in these various different graphics, these different channels, and these ones are basically pre-configured. So they've done the mix for you, all of these things here, uh, but you can start mixing their smart materials together. And there's a ton of smart materials here. And if we start looking at them, these are things that are really commonly used in games. Uh, weapon grip, uh, urban camo, uh, worn plastic, black denim, and then we got various different metals like magnesium, lead, iron oxidized, iron, heavy rust, and so on. So you get a ton of materials in this pack, and they are all, all um, basically downloadable with the installer that comes with it. So that is the big new feature in this particular version. But let's head on over now, take a look at the release notes, and we can see things. Oh, no, did I actually show you that thing in action? No, I didn't. So before I do that, so here we're at the shader ball. Our download should be done now. So what I could do is basically I'll come back here, go to the setup, and instead of shader ball, I could say a 3D asset. And we've got the two that we downloaded. So we'll go ahead and get the broken wall. And then we can bring in assets directly from... Uh, Quixel Mixer. So there, if you wanted, and if you were using, again, Unreal Engine, you could immediately drop this into your game. You'll also notice you have uh, multiple LODs. So if you've got a lower polygon requirement, there is a lower LOD version of it. And you can kind of preview multiple LODs uh, with your particular texture set. We've also got the ability to control the working resolution of the uh, the image that we're working with. Obviously, you saw we lost a ton of quality there. So we're going back up to 2K. You can see the difference there. But you do have the options. And that's really nice in this regard because this is going to be uh, directly relevant to uh, game development, especially if you're doing uh, real-time work. You know, you can tweak it around until you get the resolution that you actually want it to work with. And then, of course, we've got the online repository. If you go out here go straight up to the all types, you're going to see there are an absolute ton of materials here. And again, if you are working with Unreal Engine, you have access to everything here, including a nice search engine to make it all work together. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of the, the basic idea behind Quixel Mixer. Uh, again, I've done previous videos that go into a little bit more depth in the past if you want to learn a little bit more. So now we're going to head over and take a look at what specifically is new in 2020.12. We've covered off most of this stuff. Uh, we got this release comes with 50 new smart materials, a handy new asset manager, and a new installer that uh, lays the groundwork for regular releases of smart material packs. Two things to tell you about the installer though. First off, it took for Ever. It was downloading at about 2,000 kilobytes per second. It took me about an hour and a half to get this guy downloaded, which kind of sucked. Uh, and it didn't appear to be me. So it might be because it's a new release. The other aspect is it installs those um, to here. And you see you're looking at about six gigabytes for those two smart material packs. So by no means are Quixel assets tiny. They're pretty big, to be honest, but uh, not really a huge deal going on there. So again, they added 50 new smart materials. Um, Premium scan-based smart materials have been added, uh, including, so expanding the free top quality assets. So again, the free stuff, the stuff uh, that's available here, local, this stuff, free. This stuff, the online stuff, not free. So this shouldn't be limited. You could go ahead and use these materials in the Godot game engine or in Unity if you so wished. So that's another big part where they put these 50 really common materials in there, but they're also free materials. So in this here, we got things like metals such as aluminum or aluminium, if you're uh, British, uh, oxidized iron and gold, fabrics such as denim, linen, and camo gear, and a plethora of plastics, rocks, woods, and leathers all ready to go and completely free to use. And they really did pick a lot of really commonly needed materials. Uh, the Smart Material Workflow fuses the Megascans library with Mixer's procedural engine, giving you photorealistic control over every aspect of your assets wear and tear. As you can see, they're playing around with one right here. We saw earlier how quick it was to change a color and how it kind of propagated through the entire material as a result. So uh, smart materials, you can easily transform any asset to make it fit any biome or style, uh, giving your assets unlimited potential, also enabling style transfer workflows that goes uh, that go beyond realistic texturing. Uh, smarter downloads. So this is the new installer. Again, it took for 
ever, which is unfortunate. But again, you don't have to install a new version of Mixer if a new pack is released, for example. But sadly, it was slow for me. I'll be interested if you download Quixel, to Quixel Mixer today. Let me know how your download speeds went because for me, it was brutal. Even though I was doing speed tests and my own connection was showing, you know, uh, half a gigabyte. So I, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, the other thing here was we got the Asset Manager. It gives you the ability to quickly replace assets that are refreshed. Um, Reference multiple times in your layer stack. When working with complex materials, it's not uncommon to uh, reference a specific surface or imperfection through your layer stack. Prototyping with different surfaces then become a pain as you have the ability to swap multiple times for a result that you may not even like. This is where Asset Manager really shines. It allows you to instantly replace uh, that um, surface or imperfection without breaking your layer stack, and you can easily undo and redo the results as well. It's definitely nice to see there. Um, and then we got a little bit of what they're looking at the future, bringing you new smart material packs of all kinds, biomes and so on, uh, released for free at regular intervals. Every smart material is created based on your feedback, so keep it coming. We also heard you loud and clear on multiple texture support. We are working on an update to support these, and we hope to have a preview available in the very near future. Uh, here's the sneak preview of what is in the works. So you see your multiple texture support. Definitely uh, nice to see. So you got a texture here and a texture here. That's really cool. Hopefully that happens. Uh, we have big plans for Mixer and intend to rapidly expand its abilities with new features and tools together with feedback and conversations from you and uh, from you, comma, our amazing community, not you and our amazing community. Uh, so definitely do check it out. Available for download right here. Um, I think it's available. Actually, I don't remember right offhand uh, what platforms it's available on. I ran it on Windows. That might actually just be it. Um, but uh, actually, I don't remember at this point in time. Sorry about that. Uh, but if you are interested, you can download it completely free. Uh, there he goes. It's coming down right now. Um, so do be sure uh, to check that out completely free. Again, all of the packs, all the assets you're seeing here, all of this new stuff that was added here, uh, this is all... The smart materials available right here, those are all free. So you can basically download Mixer and use Mixers to create textures for your game using this collection of textures or stuff that you import that you have yourself. And uh, you don't owe them a cent. You don't have to pay a cent. You don't have to use Unreal Engine. But if you do use Unreal Engine, you also have access to this giant collection over here. Again, completely free. I, I got to say, Epic Games have just been killing it lately. Uh, it's amazing how fast Quixel Mixer is improving. And it's nice to see these new packs. So hopefully the whole... Um, um, download speed is an anomaly and not part of the new installer. But again, I'm interested to hear what kind of performance you run into with the world being locked down and everyone working from home. Internet speeds are a little unreliable these days anyway. So let me know what your performance was like and let me know what you think of Quixel Mixer. Even though if, you know, if you're an Epic Games um, Unreal Engine user, it's a no-brainer to be using this stuff. But if you're using another game engine, these new, new features, the free stuff, is it kind of tempting you over to Quixel? Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.